2017. Hell of a year. Kicked off this year celebrating 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. At the time, I was still working for a magic company, not working for myself, but I did find the time to work on this channel and figure out what it is exactly that I wanted to do with my life. 2017, in January, we brought in uh, Reacting to Bad Magic, which came along with its own uh, surprises. January was also the month that I messed up magic on live TV. Hold it off with your thumb. Just okay. one, just oh. one, no, no. On. So that's a, that's a thing. Early this year, I also got to perform for the cast of The Magicians uh, TV show, which was really cool. Gone. Oh, what the oh. <laughs> And while in New York, I also got to hang out with a newfound friend, King Batch. If you guys don't know about King Batch, uh, he's, he's all right. He's doing all right for himself. I also had some of the biggest videos on my channel to pop in 2017. Actually, the biggest videos, including what is now the biggest video on my channel, a video of me solving a lock puzzle. Who'd have known? Earlier this year, I also was flown out to San Bruno at the YouTube headquarters, which is a massive milestone for myself, and got to talk in front of a whole bunch of people on a panel and perform magic to them, so that was really cool. And sliding down the YouTube slide was, uh, was epic. And then came April. April was monumental. April was the month that I quit my job, that I quit my job working for Illusionist, that I severed all ties from the magic industry and uh, made made a living off of doing what it is that I love. So probably the biggest year of my entire life and my career uh, happened in 2017 and in April. And that's something that I still can't believe that I did and I'm doing successfully and I'm really appreciative for that. And I really, I really wanna thank every one of you guys for allowing me to do that. I also robbed a bank as a magician. Worked on a really cool video series and did a uh, Instagram takeover for Skype, which is massive. That's huge. That would have I would have never thought that would ever happen. We got to do some really creative things for them. You know, one thing I like about Skype is that you can take a work with you on the go, which is important if you're <laughs> which is important if you're traveling. Uh, mind you, I think I forgot my cell phone upstairs. So let's actually. Whoa! Do you guys hear that? It sounds like it's coming from right about here. There we go. Hello, sorry, I gotta take this. Also, 2017 marks the year that I released my first solo effect, which is Voodoo. 
uh, which you guys have responded to incredibly and I've been seeing a lot of positive comments. It's what I was really most proud of creating in 2017. And I hope to bring you guys a lot more downloadable effects in the future. I also did multiple fan meetups in 2017, which every single time that I've done one of these completely blew me away with the amount of people that showed up. Amazing meeting all of you and I look forward to doing many of those in the future. In 2017 in May, I was also flown out to Italy at one of the biggest magic conventions uh, and hired to lecture among some of the world's best magicians. Friendships that I've made there I still carry today and the experience as well and I hope to go back uh, in 2018. One of my favorite moments of 2017 was also uh, flying out to California to surprise a fan by the name of Sun Shooty. Uh, and Sun is has an incredibly bright future as I mentioned before and his family is amazing and just the whole experience of doing that for someone was really incredibly validating and, and humbling. Maybe some more of that in 2018. Also got to perform a whole bunch of street magic. Obviously, I as well uh, hung out in Vegas for one of the biggest magic conventions ever, Magic Live, where I got to meet in person literally the best magicians in the world, including David Copperfield and, and I mean, just a slew of, of incredible uh, minds. And uh, it was just such a treat to be able to share and, and to meet these people and to, to talk magic and just to be sort of surrounded by magic 24 seven. And I look forward to doing that a lot more this year. I also got to hang out with one of my best friends, Peter McKinnon, who in January was sitting on like a thousand subs and now 1.5 million. Like that's, that's even hard for me to grasp at this point that he's found so much success. I mean, it's not a surprise, he's very talented. But I mean, it blew me out of the water, the amount of people that responded to Peter's content and continue to do so. And he continues to skyrocket through YouTube, which I'm incredibly proud of. I wish him all the success in the world. And if you guys don't follow him, you should definitely follow him, but you probably already do. Also got to hang out at a few YouTube spaces, including uh, the Montreal pop-up YouTube space, New York, uh, YouTube space where I spent a week there among some of the greatest creators on the planet. Uh, really fun to collaborate with them and just to sort of, just to take myself out of the magic community for a second and put myself into the YouTube community. And the mindset is, uh, is the same, but I got some really refreshing insight from other creators that have nothing to do with magic and that just sort of opened my eyes to the whole platform a little more. So uh, thank you to everybody I met in New York and in Montreal as well. So all in all, in retrospect, I think that 2017 has been probably the greatest year of my career in magic and on YouTube and professionally one of the most satisfying and personally one of the most humbling and, and gratifying. It's It's been a hell of a trip. I've made so many new friends and got to see some old friends and hang out with them. And that's, that's I think the one thing that I retain from this year is that doing what it is that I love for a living allowed me to be around the people I love the most and allowed me to connect with people that I never knew and would have never otherwise uh, created a friendship with. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. I'm really thankful for being able to take all these trips and to hang out with all these new people and to have these new experiences in my life and there's no way I could have done this without this platform and without you guys watching. There's no way. I, I would have been, you know, just doing my old job and whatever and questioning what it is that I wanted to do. And you guys have really allowed me to do this, uh, to do what it is that I'm doing right now. So thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to each and every one of you. My goal, and I said this to myself, my goal was to hit half a million. And that was like a massive goal because I went from like 20,000 to 100,000. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna go for half a million. I aimed really high. And I think as you're watching this video, I'm at like 465,000 subscribers on this channel. So, you know, that's, that's an incredible milestone. I'm setting my goals for a million for next year. Probably super ambitious. I'm probably not gonna get there, but you know what? Those are like, those are goals that you have to set. You gotta set them high. And then if you, you know, you make it three quarters of the way, 
that's that's a win. So that's what I'm really going for right now. Regardless of that stuff, I just, again, want to say thank you to each and every one of you for making 2017 like literally the best year for me and my channel. You guys have proven that the Ram fam is strong and uh, hopefully this channel will continue to grow with your support. And uh, hopefully you guys individually will continue to grow among yourselves in your own crafts, whether it's magic or anything else. So I wish you guys all the success in the world. I wish you all the success that I've had or more. And uh, I hope to be seeing a lot more of you. And I hope that uh, I'll be able to show you a lot more of what's going on over here in 2018. So guys, thank you again so much. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Like this video, it does help out. And we'll see you in 2018. Peace, rock.